Hello Virgo, I hope you had a great and relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. People have asked me to start doing personal readings again, so I'm going to do it um, this month. If you want one, you can just email me directly. My email will be below this video in the description box below. Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good place. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Virgo in their life? And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Well, let's do this extra message. Very important. You feel stuck in something. Like you can't move forward. There's something that you feel is holding you back in moving forward with your life. Whether it's a relationship of some sort or... Uh, some kind of situation at work. This is you trying to figure out how to deal with that situation. Uh, and your this is very symbolic. Your hands are tied over here, which means that you feel like there's nothing else you can do uh, about this situation, at least at this particular time. You feel kind of stuck, like you can't move forward. Wow. Your situation with your soulmate is uh, making you feel kind of um, stressed out. Yeah, you feel like you need to move forward. Like you need to let go of the person. But you feel like something is holding you to that person or that relationship or that connection. But you recognize that you put in more work, more effort, more energy, more time into this relationship than they have. This is how you view them based on their behavior towards you. So it looks like they're not committing to you or they're not telling you where this is going, what to expect, how they feel. You're not getting a commitment from this person. But when you do um, spend time with them, because this is Three of Cups, you have fun with this person. You really want them to put more effort, time, energy, work into this relationship. You're showing up as very attractive, very alluring, excellent at what you do for a living, admired by people, recognized. Let's see your subconscious position. Yeah, you see? So the person does in fact love you, but um, they only showing up as a knight, not a king or queen which means they have been kind of in and out of your life. They are, they do have feelings for you, but not really showing you where this is going, not telling you where this is going. You're kind of hanging there, guessing, literally hanging there. You see the hanging man. Um, this is you just kind of feeling like your life is on hold because this person is not telling you goodbye, but at the same time not telling you that, they are going to commit. You're kind of waiting around. But night energy is non-committal energy. So they're used to this kind of um, behavior. Yeah. Um, they do have feelings for you. They're holding this cup of love for you. But the cup of love is empty, which means they're not expressing to you how they really truly feel about you, what they expect of you, where this is going, and so forth and so on. Let's see, universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey. Wow, your energy is beautiful. Whether you're male or female, you're showing up here as an empress, someone of very high quality with standards, self-respect. You want a solid relationship. Yeah, you don't want to play mind games. You want something solid or nothing at all. 
You have a lot to offer. Yeah, they kind of in and out of your life here, you see. They kind of happy go lucky energy. Uh, but they holding Empress card in their hand. Do you see this? I know it's small, but can you see this? Look at this. Here they are, kind of happy go lucky energy coming and going to entering your life and then leaving, entering, leaving. And they holding this Empress card right here. You see this? You are an Empress. So they do recognize the fact that you are someone of high quality, of value. Yeah, they do recognize that, which is a good thing. <sighs> Something is going on at your job. Yeah, something's going on at your job. Wherever it is you work, you feel like you always have to stand up for yourself. Look over your shoulder, watch your back, defend yourself. Uh, a lot of hectic situations at your job that you're dealing with or work or wherever it is you work. You've been through a lot of heartbreak in relationships and you don't want to endure any more heartbreak, any more emotional devastation. You want something solid or nothing at all. This is you trying to move on with your life. You know, please show us what's coming up for my fabulous Virgos and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey. <clears throat> yeah, you see, for the second time, they're showing up as Knight of Cups right above you this time. So it looks like this person hasn't left your life. No, even if they're silent right now, they're going to come back to you because they love you. But what concerns me is that they keep showing up as just a night, kind of in and out, in and out of your life, not really communicating effectively, not really listening to your concerns or warning signs, kind of happy-go-lucky energy. Yeah, another night. This concerns me even more because this shows me that they're used to this kind of behavior for some time now. Night of Wands, my least favorite night of all nights, kind of... Um, non-committal energy for a long time. This person is attractive, alluring, charismatic. Yeah, they don't really commit. Temperance. Yeah, you're learning patience. You're learning temperance. You're learning how to balance yourself, balance your energy, ground your energy balance your emotions you've been extremely patient with this person but your patience is running out you really love them that's why you're still holding on to some hope that maybe this situation will improve soon sooner than later because you've been waiting and that's why you've been waiting because you love this person you recognize major spiritual emotional connection between you two they recognize it too but they don't show it for some reason, yeah. Now let's see. Yeah, this person loves you a lot. But let's see what's going on here. You know, let's please show us what's coming up for Virgo. How is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you see, again, this is you trying to balance your emotions, trying to make sense of this connection, relationship. You don't even consider this a relationship, more like a connection because they don't really communicate with you effectively. You really want to uh, see a better chapter, new beginning between you two, reconciliation showing up here because you love this person. If you didn't love them or love them a little bit, it would be so much easier for you to let them go and move on. Something going on at your job, showing up again, like you, you're going through a lot of stress at your job, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of stress, demands, expectations. You feel like uh, you are challenged at your job by certain people. Yeah, here they are. You see this? Yeah. So it looks like this week is going to be very challenging for you. You see this? Um yeah, don't let anybody drag you into their gossip circles. Yeah, stay clear. Um, don't take sides. Stay neutral. That's the best way to handle difficult uh, work situations. Let's see what's going on with that soulmate you've been dealing with. You know, let's be sure us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo has been dealing with, that Virgo is letting go of at this particular time. 
that showed up as a knight three times. You know, it's to show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo and how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally. Extra message. Wow, they're so scared. This is all about emotions. The moon is about emotions. Uh, this water signs are showing up here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is very scared of feeling such deep, intense emotions. So they do recognize silently the intensity of the connection between you and them. They do recognize it and it scares them because... Uh, it's hard for them to control their feelings. You see this? To hide their feelings, to control their feelings. They feel very emotional when they think of you, when they spend time with you, when they talk to you. They know they're going to have to do something that you're not going to just hang there waiting on them for years to come. They know that they're going to have to be proactive, either let you go or come forward with some kind of explanation, communication, uh, plan, a commitment, anything. Yeah. Ooh, so, wow. I'm surprised to see this because the you, the Queen of Cups is reversed. They trying to disconnect from you emotionally and it's not working. You see this? This is them trying to control their emotions to a point where they trying to disconnect emotionally and they can't do it. Ooh, this person honestly um, has a lot to deal with from past relationships that they need to address, uh, heal from, forgive. They have a lot of emotional baggage that they need to uh, pay attention to in order to heal successfully emotionally. So it's not something you're doing, no. And they do recognize that. Uh, it's their past catching up with them, unhealed emotional wounds, which is what we call emotional baggage from past relationships that they've been in. Ooh, they feel a lot of guilt, regret, sadness. This is them worried. Uh, how are they going to handle this? Because they really love you and they can't control their feelings for you. You see this? This person knows that they have a lot to address in their life to be able to meet you halfway. They cannot disconnect from you emotionally. This person really, truly loves you. And the more they're trying to disconnect, the more they realize they're in love with you. Yeah, you know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo. Yeah, look how they're trying to be tough. Finally, they're showing up as a king, but unfortunately, just a king of swords with the sword pointing down. So the sword, uh, the ace of swords they're holding on to is standing for communication, clarity, uh, but it's pointing down, which is concerning, which means they don't communicate with you effectively. They're trying to shut down emotionally, not be emotionally uh, vulnerable, but they are. Look, the moon is showing up again. Moon, moon, you see, it scares them to be so deeply emotionally involved, attached, and not be able to control their feelings. Look how scared they are petrified you see this of two things um mostly of not being able to commit in a healthy way because they know they have a lot to resolve from their past but also not being able to detach emotionally and just casually see you without emotional attachment yeah you see they used to this kind of behavior so this is nothing new this is you know this is what they used to. Um, this person is attractive, alluring, charismatic. They get a lot of attention. And they're used to that kind of happy-go-lucky energy. Uh, they see that you're not going to uh, um, accept this kind of behavior for too long, that they're going to have to either leave or uh, commit to you. Yeah, and they, that they can't hide their feelings from you forever. You already suspect anyway that they love you. Again, you see, again, again, just like minutes ago, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. See, this person knows that they need to step up to the plate to be able to keep you. Look how attracted they are to you, drawn to you, can't stop thinking about you. 
Queen of Wands, beautiful, whether you're male or female, you're showing up as someone who is alluring, attractive, mysterious, enigmatic, you see? Uh, this person is very attracted to you. Uh, not just the way you look, but your energy, your mysterious ways. You guys have huh, so history together, past lifetimes. So this is this is uh, connection, soul connection of long standing from past incarnations. I don't think they understand that totally, but they feel something is different about you when they compare you to their past loves or past relationships. You see, this is them going within, trying to figure out what to do, how to approach this correctly. They realize they can't let you go. Yeah, they can't let you go. This is them trying to go within to reflect, to make very wise decisions moving forward because they realize they can't let you go. Let me see what's going on here. You know, let's show us what's going on currently with that. Soulmate of Virgo. Look how drawn they are to you. Again, this person is very drawn, attracted. They just can't stop thinking about you, can't stop loving you. Yeah, my two favorite queens, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. That's you, Virgo, uh, with your third eye wide open. So they are aware that you are very intuitive, very wise. They know that they can't just come back to you with some kind of uh, excuse that you're going to analyze to the highest level uh, what they're saying read between the words, read their uh, mannerism, facial expressions, eye contact, energy, and all. A true Virgo. Virgo analyzes the most of all signs. They know they're going to have to do something, either completely let you go, which they can't because they tried, because of their feelings, or step up to the plate and offer a solid relationship that, you see... This is worrying me. So this shows me that you have valid reasons to be highly disappointed in these relationships. You're not imagining, Virgo. You see this? For this to show up shows me you have valid reasons uh, to be concerned. Yes. We're going to go into your extended reading, Virgo. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates popping up in your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine long-term intentions and plans for you since they showed up as the uh, hermit making like final wise decisions uh, then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So we'll go click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.